I wouldn't even be on here. Um, TGM Cars, Cornerstone Business Solutions, Cleveland Systems Engineering, uh, Borough Shop Museum, Galaxy Blinds and Interiors, Richard Wolf Train Associates, and Advanced Utility Solution. Now I'm going to press here, because the last time it went skew with, it never worked. I'm going live now. Uh, thanks for joining us, Facebook and YouTube Live. I'm already on YouTube, but I'm going to go through the sponsors again, because they're very important. Uh, Cornerstone Business Solutions, TGM Cars, Cleveland Systems Engineering, Borough Shop Museum, Galaxy Blinds and Interiors, Richard Wills Training Associates, Advanced Utility Solutions. So thanks to the sponsors, as always, and I make sure, make a point to write them down so I don't miss anybody out. Um, the team today, getting into today's game against Watford, I thought it'll be a toughie. After our performance against Sunderland, the net performance against Sunderland last week at the state of my life, I thought we were poor and deserved what we got. Um, today, Watford above us, but had drew against Rotherham at home last week. I thought, well, they've obviously got frailties. Anyway, the team today leading into today's game, I, I, I gathered that Archer would start up front or alongside... Um, yeah, I, it would start up front. So, what... <laughs> sorry, there's a... there's a, a What do you call it? One of them beautiful things. Sorry. My house is clean, by the way. Uh, so, Stefan was in goal, and then it was Giles with Smith. McNair came in. Obviously, Dale Fry was out uh, last week. He got his matching orders. I thought it was the right decision. Some people didn't. Uh, Lenehan, Housen, Hackney, Archer, um, Akpom, the inform, Akpom, McGree, and Foz. And obviously, Archer. I questioned Archer last week, and I questioned the day before the game. I'm thinking, my only, my only reservation and concern is he's small. He's five foot, and he'll need a certain type of service. Can he be there? He'd only three, played three cameo appearances. But I have to say, he was amazing. He had the pace of Triori, only had brains. That's the only way I can assess him and sum him up of what I've seen today. I mean, if the first goal came from him. It played up the left. I'll be honest, his first touch let him down. And the touch deserted him and it went beyond the, the right back. But he was so fast and lightning quick. He got beyond him, tore into the box and eventually it broke for Akpom. He had a miscrewed shot up in the air and anyway, he headed it in the bottom left-hand corner. Brilliant. Akpom was very good today as well. I don't think there was a weak line today. I thought everybody played a part. I thought it was terrific. Two fine goals. Foz got the other one. Akpom, got his, I think it's his 14th. Well done to him. Well done to everybody. All played a major part today. Deserved the plaudits. And we did it for the duration of the game. We didn't flip in and out the game. I mean, he had a chance or two in the, the 90 odd minutes, but we had a lot of chances. Scored two fine goals. Clean sheet, three points. Now sitting third, third in the top of the, the division. So well done. Well done, Carrick. Well, Archer, couldn't believe with the balls you were getting and your runs were amazing. As I say, I can only describe them as uh, Triori light, but only with brains. We'll go back over and read them out because I've been rabbiting. But I tell you, great performance, great result, and a clean sheet. Um, quality win, Billy Show, Joseph Slave and Paul Cochran. You're not kidding. I've just rushed in, man. Uh, Cameron Archer played a brilliant game. Johnny House, soon as David Daniel uh, Easton, was up there. Absolutely superb, Bernie. A bit of karma for Ross Stewart last week up the borough. Yeah, as I said, there wasn't a weak link, Darrell. You picked out two. Cameron Archer, I've mentioned, unbelievably quick and direct and, and intelligent, and he caused them havoc. Um, every time he's running their defence, run their defence were having kittens. And Johnny House was up there. I didn't see a weak link today. A couple of times, again, I'm going on about Stefan. A couple of touches. One in the first half, he played across his own goal. Could have led to, well, it put us under a bit of unwanted pressure. And then second half, he played it short and we were nearly punished. Um, we'll come to that as we progress. Uh, Fab Jackson says, point one, every player knew their job today. Point two, they all looked that they were enjoying playing, uh, which is massively important. Michael Carrick doing a great job, no question. Fab Jackson, very complimentary towards Michael Carrick and the team. And he should be. Anybody that was at the game today, get in touch, give your side. I'm sure we're all, we're all seeing the same game today. Every player deserves the plaudits and, and we deserve to win. And we're now sitting third in the league. And it's great to bounce back. It, sh it shows your character uh, and your beliefs when you bounce back. After last week, I thought we were poor. I thought I would go as far to say we were really poor. Garbage, in fact. 
But to bounce back in such a manner today, few tweaks here and there. Um, brilliant. Great. Uh, brilliant from back to front today, Bernie, apart from Stefan Boob, Dave Saunders. Well, I mentioned Stefan. Look, Stefan, I read a wee quote on the social network, Michael Carrick, saying that he encourages that. Well, again, it could have been costly today, and I'll stick by it, and I'll stick to my guns. He will cause us problems when it comes to the squeaky bum time. The games, all games matter, but when it really comes to the crunch time, the deciders, we cannot afford a boob or a clanger. And I can see it happening. We've got away with time. We got away with last week. We got away with the day. But one, we can't do it all the time. Wait, Man City. And the thing is, Stefan, unlike the Manchester City keeper, takes a touch and another touch. And then he has a look and then another touch. Too slow and deliberate. He did, after these couple of errors today that he got away with again, he started playing it left and right. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Playing it there. He played it short like today to, to Gels, but we get away with it. Anyway, let's dwell on the positives because today we deserve the plaudits. We were very good. Great to watch today for Dave Lindbergh. It was Dave Joe Henry. says, Archer Hackney were great for us today. Up the borough, Julie, you'll be doing cut wheels up and down Linthorpe Road. John Toogood says, Premier League play Archer, great signing. Well, he's on loan, but as I say, when he first came in, Small, I thought, won't be aggressive, needs a certain type of service. You're not going to hit 20 foot ball to him, are you? But anyway, his first bit of real genuine pace and trickery I've seen was he came in for the right, he went along the 18 yard box and danced in between two central defenders who more or less collided. And I think the ball just ran away at that last second, the keeper saved it. But you've seen then, wow, this guy's interesting and super quick. Um, hard to pick man of the match Hackney I'm agree This is for uh, Michael Ditchman uh, If I had to pick Fantastic performance Well done the Borough Come on Borough fans Come on and praise your team Third in the league Great performance Bouncing back After the Sunderland disaster uh, Master three points today And made it look quite easy Great performance day Up the F in Borough For Dave Tweddle um, We did make it We made them look very ordinary today Some people were saying They were, they were poor I thought it started, the position says that they're okay, a team, they're quite good, they were above us getting into today's game. We made them look very poor. Uh, Paul Grammer says, a much better performance, Bernie. We need to put ourselves up from the Sunderland defeat. Archer was, was solid and full of pace. Talk about bouncing back. Could have been three or four. Clean sheet added bonus onto the next game up the bottom. Can't kind of disagree with anything so far. Uh, Triori with brains, love it, Bernie. Well, Roger, I, I'm an honest lad. I like you. Uh, shoot for the hip, give my honest opinions. Triori, as I say, this guy looks as if he's Triori with brains, meaning he's lightning quick, but he's intelligent. And he's going to be creative, and he will get a few goals with the way he looked today. He'll get into those dangerous positions. Another day, he could have a two in the day. And he's made one, so, yeah, very good. Uh, Bam Borofan said, very good evening. Bernie from Thailand. Oh, we stand was in Thailand, Bam Borofan. Possible the best performance under Carrick. We were better than Watford in every position and well deserved all three points. My man of the match is Smith, but actually was brilliant up the borough. Well, it's good that a lot of people, we've all been to the same game and watched the same game, whether in Thailand or wherever, Timbuktu, if they've got TVs there. We've all got, we're all praising the team, individually, collectively, but we're all given a different man of the match, which is good. Good. We all see a different game. What result actually reminds me of Defoe. Look, Evans, yeah, Jim in the fall, what a player he was. For Tottenham, way over 100 goals. Went to Rangers, did well up there, great player. Fast, dynamite, lightning quick in around the, the boxes. Uh, fantastic, Matt Wilson says, fantastic result, Bernie. Archer is what we've been missing. I hate Slayton Jones, but Archer is much more creative. Up the F in Borough. Bring on Blackpool from Matt and Jojo. Matt and Jojo, how are you? I bet you're sitting in the room watching this. Having a glass of champagne, celebrating the great victory and the three points and sitting third on the table. Um, Jones will find it hard. Don't, hey, I still expect maybe a player or two to go before the deadline. I think the deadline's Monday. And we're still talking about players and loads of players, the lad from Rotherham and one or two others. Are we going to get them in? I don't know the answer. Let's hope we do. I still think we, we want a couple of players in. Uh, watching from the USA for Steve Myers. Hiya, Steve. Uh, it might be the best game of the season. Great result. I'd probably say, yeah. I would probably agree with that. 
the thing was, we kept it going for the duration of the game. Uh, smiling from ear to ear, now to move, uh, now to move snow. For Borough fan, just a Borough fan. Um, I would argue it was City's best game. Sustaining it. You know, there's been games where flirted in and out and did very well, but today we sustained it for the duration. And yeah, we were very good. Good in the eye. Fans were good. Players got the plaudits, are getting the plaudits they deserve. Uh, good result for Borough, but Mugger getting an extra chocolate bar. Matt Sutherland. What do you mean an extra chocolate bar? Sunderland, is Sunderland playing today? Did they win the day? I don't know anything about Sunderland. Are they not playing the cup today? Uh, good result for Borough, but Mugger getting an extra. Mugger deserves a plot. It's last week. Andrew Hill says, Akpom was brilliant today, Bernie. Along me, Archer and Foz up the Borough. Andrew, Akpom was very good today. I was, I was sitting with a couple of ex-pro mates and we were, we were bumming him up. I said, what about Akpom? He's, you know, because... When he first came, two years, he never done it. But this year, by God, he's on fire. 14 goals. Not just his goals, his movement, uh, his, his vision, his creativity. He's dropping into, into no man's land where they can't, they can't defend against him. He's getting turned. He's beating two and three men. He's confident. He's brimming with confidence. And he deserves it. Uh, must admit, I doubted the goalkeeper, but he played well today. John Tugard. He had a couple of saves, um, Stefan. Uh, but I'm still, as I say, I'm still not a fan of this, passing it back. Sunderland, he could have caused two. He never, hypothetical, we got away with, well, we got away with that, but we still got punished, we get beat. But in the big games, I still worry about that. Uh, hi, Bernie, can you give Eve and Olive, Olivia, is it Olivia? Or Olivia, Olivia. A shout out, well, I have Eva and Olive, Olive, Olivia. Olivia Newton-John, like that kind of name. Paul Gamble. Uh, Stephen May says, what, was that the game, Bernie? We were different team from last week. Carrick has breathed new life into this club. It's top two still an option. Well, do you know what I said last week and the week before? I don't think we'll make top two. Probably still my, my gut instinct, but do you know, I've looked at it tonight and I'm thinking, why not? They're going to have a bad patch or two. We've had a bad patch and then Carrick's come in. And the only bad game we had was since Carrick came in in the league, not the Brighton game, the cup, the league, is last Sunday. I know it was a big game, the derby game, and disappointing, and we had to lick my wounds, but I've got on with my back and track again, so why not? You just don't know in this game, I'm mad. Life's mad, but football's mad. Steve Daly says, looks like they finally clicked. Excellent team performance and result. Two new faces uh, in will beef up the squad. But Steve, I keep saying, why do we need players in before the deadline, before Monday? In my opinion, in case we get injuries, loss of form, suspensions, this would just Rubber stamp where we are. People say, the third top and they've went and bought him in and brought him in. I mean, anybody watching today's game who didn't know about Archer, I didn't know a great deal about Archer. I can read it up, but I need to see it in my eyes. He's come on three camera appearances, not really get involved. Today, he was unbelievably good. And I think he was, he worked so hard and did so much running and, and frightened them to death defensively that I think he ended up with cramp. He was replaced, but... He just looks as if he's suffering from cramp because he's not been in the his villa, he's, at, he's not been in the villa team. Surplus to requirements. He's came here in loan, not played a lot of first team football, and he, he was feeling the effects, but what a performance he put in. Uh, hi Bernie Joseph Slavin, Adele Hudson. Hi Adele. Graham Roden says, Hi Bernie, really enjoyed game full performance. Even in Bernie, great game today. What a difference Archer made. That's for Jeffrey Wood. Archer's getting the plaudits it's I'm, I'm his biggest fans after today, and I see you can repeat it and tell whoever. He's like Trilly with brains. That's my quote for today. I like, I'm a man of quotes, uh, Oscar Wilde, and yeah, I love quotes, and that's my quote for today after watching Archer's performance. Hey, Maltz, I see the old Maltz. This is Anthony Maltz. He wasn't at the game today. Big Borough fan, he had something else on. I think he was cutting his toenails, he told me. Uh, completely deserved that one today for David Hindmarsh. Uh, was a pleasure to watch. It was a pleasure. If you're a, a football connoisseur and you were present today, there's nobody who can away disappointed today. Every Borough fan will be walking away with a, a skip and a step thinking, by God, we were good today. Good in the eye, couple of goals, clean sheet, three points on the board, third in the league. Brilliant. Up the Borough, congratulations to Carrick. Uh, got the boys playing good football. That's for David Tynan, uh, or Tynan. Uh, hi Bernie Joseph Slavin Best performance of the season Up the effing borough A lot of these effing boroughs Flying in For Peter Sloan I don't mind Cool um, I'm not offended by any words Words don't offend me um, As I say Peter I think it was 
I've watched every game, been at home games live in the Legends Lounge. Thanks to my guest today, Chris Tomlinson. Chris, if you don't know Chris, he's a, a former long jumper. Um, he three Olympic Olympics, he represented Great Britain. And he's won a few medals along the way for world champion long jumper. Great guy, very funny, and uh, the people in the Le Legends Lounge loved him. Uh, Jason, Andy's son was there. Uh, Jason Fawcett says, didn't see the game, but what a way to bounce back. Great three points, though. Out in Whitley Bay tonight with a load of backcodes. Won't get too much stick up the borough. Uh, the new midfielder was in the stand watching. He must be buzzing watching the team. Jeffrey, the, the, the lad from uh, from Rotherham. I've read his stats. He's... Um, He's played 20 games, scored four goals and created created a few. So, good signing. Another one wouldn't go amiss. Uh, Ryan Mass says, can you see us catching up the Sheffield United, Benny? As I say, Ryan, last week and even today in the lounge, before the game I was asked a question, and maybe even after it, and I said, I don't think we'll catch the top two. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. So, of course we can. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Imagine that. That'd be incredible. Uh, Carl Atley, uh, hi Bernie mate. What an outstanding match it was and we played class and a quality all-round performance from the lads. Carl, you're dead right. We were terrific today. Uh, Lee Davies says, hopefully strength in the midfield with, um, is it Agbo from Man United? Yeah, he's a midfield lad. I think he's a, uh, he's a, a Iraq international player. He's 19, Man United. But obviously Carrick will know him for sure, for definite. Uh, and he's got contacts there, so he would be a great, a great guy to come in. Um, the kid from Rotherham has signed. Who is he? The kid from Rotherham. I can't pronounce his second name, um, but he's. Uh, I know he's played twenty eight games, scored, scored four. Uh, we play Sheffield United in three weeks. Big big game, Jeffrey. You're right. It's like switching it from Middlesbrough. You're talking about Sheffield United. Can we catch the top two? I still, and I watched. Other Premier League games in the main because they're on every night of the week. I go take my dogs out and then I come back and watch football. I still think Man City will beat uh, Arsenal. So anything's possible. May not happen, but that's my beliefs. Uh, Adele Hudson says, Hi, Bernie Joseph Slavin. Hello, Adele. Good evening. Great evening. Uh, great result, Bernard. Colin Fry. Archer Akpom up front. Happy days. Archer and Akpom, don't forget, these two have hardly played. They've not even played a game to the first game today together. They were exciting. I say Agpom is going deep. And Agpom's no slow. But this guy Archer is just a different a different animal. Pace was electric. Direct. His first touch let him down a couple of times. I'm not going to say he's got the best first touch. But the first touch uh, for the first goal, he's up against their right back. He touches, he comes up there, he touches it, but he goes by the defender. I don't think for a minute it was deliberate. But you get so much pace, he just burnt the defender up and took it on. And then uh, he did that throughout the game. Sometimes his touch deserted him, but his pace would get him out of trouble every time. But the biggest fear factor for opponents, for defenders, skill's one of them, but pace is the biggest. If you've got skill and pace, which this archer looks as if he's got it in abundance, and I've only seen him today, by God, they'll be frightened to death. I uh, still think we need shots from outside the penalty box, Graham Roden. I would encourage it. And the, and the guys for that, Hackney, not so much house, and he's more of a holding player, but guys like the, the wide men come in and have shots, uh, whether it's McGree or Foz, Foz got a goal a day, well done to him, another goal. But Hackney, that I've been encouraging them regular, more shots off, get shots off, keep shooting, becomes an attitude. You go up there, you have to get in your head, I'm going to have six shots today. You don't always achieve it, but you've got it in your head. Uh, John Tandy Jackson says, up the borough, top performance today, players upping their game because of incoming signings. That's the other thing, John. It waiting you up and gives you a wee nudge. Hey, you kind of let your standards fall because if you do, you'll be replaced. Now, Archer's come in today. I didn't see anybody holding down a position. Big Crooksy has scored a couple there. I keep going back to the Birmingham game, but he's not a centre forward. And I think sometimes he looks ungamely up there. Um, just like the big Man United centre forward got him. He looks like he looks like a sink with Man U. But anyway, this guy actually looks instantly. He'll be that position. If Crooks is going to get back in, I know he came off the bench today and went up front to replace him. But I think Crooks has got more chance of getting in than the right hand side. I'd still push McGree in one, and hope. Well, I don't know the lad for the Rotherham. Is he going to play in the left or the middle? I don't know. The manager. 
that he's in control of that. And he's done brilliant up to now. Best team performance uh, over 90 minutes for a long time. Excellent squad. We have a need. That's a Stuart Richardson. Christian Stubb says, Archibald uh, will stretch the fences, creating space for Ashbourne uh, positivity all round. Jeffrey Wood says, I've not liked... I've not liked Foz, but he ran his legs off today and scored. Hey, I'm not Foz. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not his biggest fan as yet because he's not a right winger. But he still scored a few. I think he scored three goals now. Last week, Sunderland, the only guy had a decent shot on target. Um, but I still think we get a better right sided player. And then if a right sided player comes in, where does Foz goes? I don't know where he fits in. Then he's he's like a what more? I describe him as hose pipe. <laughs> Sparks everywhere and anywhere. Sort of loses a bit of discipline. Um, not tied down in one role. But full of energy, running 110%. Sometimes that that covers over what you're lacking. You know, people say, oh, money wants his ass off. And, but sometimes you need more than that. Uh, and off the poster, what is Carrick feeding the lads? Every player looked right up for it today. I'll tell you what, um, and off the poster, it's a good name that, and off the poster, um, after the Sunderland game, I bet you gave a rocket up a few of their asses, and they deserved it, because in a derby game, I've never seen any of our players laying a glove in Sunderland players. They ruled the roost, they took full advantage, they beat us too, it could have been more. People blaming the fry sending off, he shouldn't have been sent off. Of course he should, if you're last in line, one ball beats your back four, and you're pulling and hauling, you deserve your... Was it apparently? No, I don't think it was. But hey... We deserve to get beat, but we've moved on. We've bounced back. Um, bouncing back ability for John Jefferson. I think there's a joke on there. Jim McCready, great result, Bernie. Keep the parky thing going for Jim McCready. I'm sure it's Jim McCready. I went to school way. I think he's still in Blackpool. Um, yeah, uh, the park tonight. Yeah, that's a good point, uh, Jamie. So the park in Jamie's uh, Glasgow lad. He's a Celtic fan, but he's. Trigger me to remember party. So Gary Parkinson is a guy I played with between um well between 80, 86 and 92. Parky played for Middlesbrough, his hometown club, he's originated from Thornaby. In 2010, Parky had a bad do. He's got what you call locked in syndrome. He's paralyzed for the neck downwards. He communicated via his eyes. He's in need of 24 hour care, which costs a lot of funding and money. His family have never once ever asked me or any of the 86 lads to do anything for him. Over the last, I've, this is the fourth one that, that I've arranged with my missus. I get in touch with the lads and they all give up their services. And rightly so. I would have a go at them if they didn't, but I know what they're like. They're all great lads. Uh, anyway, my missus deals with the, the financial side. And, and I just have to say now, I did the Legends Lounge today at the club. The last four tables went. So if you want a table for your company or business, the tables have gone. Uh, so you don't come through us now. You go uh, via the town hall for seats in the balconies only. So great news for party. Anyway, party needs 24 hour care. We'll try to raise as much as we can. All the 86 team will be there. Um, Tony Mowbray, who's now Sunderland manager, captain of Middlesbrough when I played, he will be there. Bruce Reif, the manager, will be there. Um, Steve Gibson, who I've been in touch with, Steve Gibson says thanks for the invite. I would love to come. Steve Gibson's going to be there. Uh, Chris McGlade's going to be the comedian, one of Riker's finest. Very funny and intelligent man. Very opinionated. If you're easily offended, don't come. I don't want any morning groaning. Well, that he raised money for charity. Um, Gary Phillipson from the local BBC will come here the night. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great night. And it'll be nostalgic and it'll be emotional because Gary Pattinson is coming with his, his family. So it'll be an emotional night as well. Let's hope we raise as much. We will raise plenty. Let's hope it is plenty because this guy needs 24 hour care. And for people in that position, you need plenty of money to keep that going and sustain it. Uh, great result, they actually look good addition, Stefan. Yeah, so Alan Giddy says, um, great result today, actually looked a good ad addition. Stefan made a couple of good saves, but laid back attitude uh, and uh, kicking, uh, good saves, but laid back attitude and kicking could have cost us again. As I say, that could be the difference of missing it in the top six or getting in the top two or missing it altogether. Good performance today, Bernie. But they were shocking for Sonny Sai. Sonny Singh, Sonny Sai. Um, yeah, Sonny, they weren't great. But I thought from the off, we just, 
We had the sleeves rolled up today. We were tackling. We didn't lay a glove in Sunderland. We were up for it today. Everybody was up for it. All motivated, all firing the bellies. Standards were up there. Maintained the standards for the duration of the game. And they had no response. They had one when it was nil nil. They went through. The lad went through in the first half. He should have scored. I've no doubt about that. It's one against one. We, we've disappeared defensively. And he's went, he put it in the top left hand corner at the floor of the bar. He was leaning back, so it was always going to go. And thankfully, it was off target. Uh, John says, It's hard to understand going from the Sunderland game, which was rubbish to today. Can't work it out. Well, John, hey, look, it's. It's football, it's sport. There's people go stonewallers, they're going to beat them today, and you go and it just doesn't happen for whatever reasons. Sometimes it only takes two or three to be out of sync, it disrupts a whole team. I've played in games, garbage or teams we play that everybody's saying you're, it's just a matter of turn up, you're going to beat them. And you don't. I played in a playoff, last game, not a playoff, last game of the season. Against Bradford, you might have heard it, but I'm telling it again, just to show you. So we have everything to play for, to get promotion into the top flight, the old first division, equivalent to the Premier. We have to beat Leicester at home, who have nothing to play for. Leicester, they've got, they've got the uh, the sun cream out, they've got the deck chairs out, their minds on holidays. Last game, nothing to play for. We've got everything to play for. We're going to top flight. Good result for Mugger today as well, as was Jeffrey. Okay, Jeffrey. Um... They're jumping out of aeroplanes, party atmosphere, there's the dancing girls at the riverside. Everything's as if we've actually been promoted, which we've not. We could beat 2-1. We were garbage. We ended up going through the playoffs. Thankfully, we made it, but there's no guarantees. They had nothing to play for. We had everything to play for, and we never turned up, and we never made it automatically. Uh, Dan Bal... Is it Baleza? Is that That's who his name is. There was a name... Dan the man, I can say, Colin, but with the second name... Is it Baleza? Uh, we'll just call him Dan. Dan the man signed from Rotherham. I don't know the fee involved. I think last week they were talking about 900 grand or something. Contracts up in the season. Uh, he was in the stand today watching the game. Another decent signing. Colin had good reports. Well done, Burra. Well done, uh, the director of football. He's got a big part. Um, and let's hope there's another new face in before Monday. Archer reminds me of John Henry. I was sick with Hendy the day. Well, he's faster than Hendy. Uh, but skillful, yeah, he's skillful as Hendy. Um, but as I say, all the lads that was running about me, they were all complimenting him about how quick he was. Uh, Steve Daly says, Did Archer get injured or was it a tactical change? No, I think he was injured. Uh, I don't think he was injured, uh, Steve. Personally, I think it was cramp because he went down, he got up and he did another run, and then he sat down and he was rubbing the back of his legs, his hamstrings. That tells me because the lads not played first team football regular for a long time, he's obviously feeling the effects. He'd run his. His legs off. Daniel Jones said it was a great one for the Borough today. It was that, Daniel. I hope you're having a refreshment celebrating. Lemonade, of course. Lawrence Etherington says, great result. We need to get back wins, uh, back to back wins. No slip up, hopefully. Keep on working as collective, maybe with a few more faces joining us in the transfer window. We can push on with an unbeaten run. There's no reason why we can't, Lawrence. That's it. As I say, only blitting the league was Sunderland. All the other games in Kai came in, fantastic. I'm not saying fantastic for duration of every game, but in patches, turned it on. Today, passing, movement, we were sharp, we were accurate, um, we were direct, we were creative. All the ingredients were there today. And it's incredible to think Archer just walked in the team, who we don't really know, and it's been such a shift and the, the players all adapted to it. Obviously, they've been working at it train. I don't think it just... Happens uh, by fluke. Uh, then Bako Bacon. I can't be talking to you then. I'm a vegan. Bacon. No, I'm only joking. Even Bernie. Hiya. Then Bako Bacon. Bacon. There must be a. Uh, even Bernie. Think the Borough definitely make the playoffs. Carrick doing a cracking job. He is that then. Um, I don't think anybody would go against us at the minute. Uh, Norman Schutz says top two. Norman, I hope you're right. What a performance, mate, for Brandon Jackson. Uh, Sharon Gibbs says great result, Bernie. Um, me and Jamie are watching us from our living room in Casimal. You're looking well. Sharon Gibb, Casimal. Sharon, did I go to school with you or did I not? Or do you just know because I originate from Casimal? Do you know any of my mates? You and your family. How good is that? So Castle Monks, the council estate I was brought up in, and proud of being brought up in, in Glasgow. 
So this girl, Sharon Gibb, who no doubt will support one of the big rivals up there. Great result, Bernie. Me and Jamie. I oh, right. I watch him from a living room in Castle. So you're talking about Jamie McCready, Sharon? Is that? Is that? Uh, you look milk. Thank you very much. Uh, Stephen Thompson, Castle Milk. Castle the Milk Court, it's called. Best performance for a long time, particularly the first half. Great attack in football. Archer look pure class, Stephen Thompson. As I say, my quote of the day, if you've just joined us, he's like Triori with brains. He was amazing. He, he's, he's definitely a guy who gets up off your seat. He's definitely going to be creative, scoring and making both sides. He's going to tick all the boxes. That's a modern day thing, isn't it? <laughs> tick boxes. Uh, a couple of Sheffield United's better players being linked with moves during the transfer window. And if they go and aren't, if you like, get Alec Geddes, aren't replaced, could see them drop off. So why can't Borough get top two? Well, if, you, if they do that, Alex, they deserve it. Uh, Dave Tweddle says, Archer, Pace can terrify defences as long as he gets the right service, that's for sure. Hello, Bernie. Massive result. Uh, today, Archer, man of the match, that's with Steve Horn. That's on the YouTube, so I have to try and balance both. Uh, Super so today, Bernie, Joseph Slevin, Paddy was man of man of the match. Rich Tunney. Um, Rich, Paddy did very well. Don't forget, Paddy's been in and out of the team. He'll be frustrated, but he's staying professional. And when he's been called upon, when Lenehan's been out or... He's been, or fry has been suspended. He's been top draw. So, well done to him. Uh, Odif Losset says, Hi, Go Wolf. Go Wolf. The, the, the whole get hound. Some people just come in. Hi, Go Wolf. I like it. Wolf, man. Great result today. Listen to BBC T's from Norway. So, delighted. Reckon automatic promotion still possible? Question mark to me. I've mentioned it there. I say earlier on, I don't think so, but why not? Why not? My gut is still saying there's still a fair gulf between it, but we've still to play them. Anything can happen, so why not? Let's let's get my heads. Let's all I'm into law attraction. Let's all attract in T side. Forget to keep the faith. Law attraction, we're going to attract it. Top two. Uh rumours are we are going for Billy Shot. Is that true, Bernie? Never heard that one, Mark. I've heard the lad uh, Wilson. Uh I never heard his name today. I've heard it all week, but I thought they said Harold Wilson. Is it Harry Wilson he's called? Um, Richard Tony says, Foz was excellent today. It reminds me of Nemeth. Zillard Nemeth. There's a, a blast for the past. Zillard Nemeth. Well, Foz is full of running, full of energy. Uh, stamina levels are unbelievable. Automatic promotion, we can only dream, Stephen. It's not a dream. It's, it's still reality. There's enough. What have we got? Is it 17 league games left? So I've got a lot of games to play, a lot of points to win or, or lose. Uh, Trevor Chavo, hi Trevor. Why can't I order one ticket for Parky's night? It's coming up £53 in Town Hall website. I've been to every one of his nights. I'm disappointed. Trevor, right. I thought I'd written it down somewhere. It's for seats, so, so you only want a seat, you don't want a table. It's £50 a seat for meet and greet. So if you want to meet and greet, and meet, that means meet the lads in Bruce Rear or whatever behind the scenes, it's £50. The extra £3 will be because they deal with tickets. That's how they deal with it. If I did it, if I was dealing with it, my missus was dealing with it, uh, you get charged off. I don't really understand all the technology, but they put a charge on it. So the tickets are £50 for meet and greet, or you pay £30. That's right, yeah. Or, my missus just come in to make sure I'm right. Or you pay £30 just for a seat. You don't need to meet and greet. Some people don't want to meet anybody. I get that. So you should be able to, Trevor. There's still a couple hundred tickets left up in the balconies. All the seats have gone today with the tables on the floor. So it's only balcony now. And I'm sure and really confident they will sell uh, next week or two they'll be gone. I'm sure they will. So I would suggest, Trev, talk to somebody with a bit of nose in that town hall because they're dealing with the seats up there where you'll be. And it's £30, it might be £30-odd because they charge you. For, for booking the seat. Um, maybe 53. So that's why it's 53. But I don't understand how you can't get it, Trev. Hopefully that's helped you. If it's not, go in the town hall and ask to see um, Andy Preston. <laughs> My missus like, oh no, it's a joke. Alec Henry says, hi Bernie, hope you're well. I am after today, Alec. 
Um, no, good. Uh, we tore Watford to shreds today. Good, good terminology, that shreds. I like that one. Best performance at home all season against a decent Watford uh, side. Uh, we've now managed to beat all three of our playoff rivals, Watford, Norwich and Blackburn Rovers. Massive confidence booster to the team. Come the playoffs, uh, up the borough. Alec, you've got every right to sound confident. You are confident. We're all confident at the minute. I say, the only blemish was last week, but that's one one bad. That's my cat. One bad performance in ninety minutes. We can we can accept that. We're just upset and called it was Sunderland, the neighbours, the rivals, the enemy, whatever you want to call them. Sunderland deserved it, but we bounced back today, and it was important to get our act back together today. If we'd have got a draw today, it wouldn't have been good enough. Losing would have been not disastrous, but knocked us off a stride. But we win, and convincingly, it wasn't a fluke. Ian Plumpton says Sheffield United under a transfer ban if they lose player to injury or in the transfer window, which will be, by all accounts, if is possible, second place is possible. Ian, the top two are possible, but I still think we, we need a, a stroke a lot and we need to really keep at it. And there's no reason why we can't. Uh, Matt McNeil says great, great performance. So two greats in there. Great, great. What about a third great performance? Uh, Archer, sheer quality, poor Archer. Imagine Matt and him. He was, I said in the lounge, he was definitely quicker than my car today. I couldn't believe how quick he was. If you've not seen him, as I say, when he walked through the door, I'm thinking, five foot, whatever, needs a special kind of service. He's not going to be aggressive. He's not going to, I tell you what, he's fairly aggressive. He's strong as an ox. Small. Really, don't forget, some of the best players in the world were small. I wasn't not being small. It was just that, some of the ball was maybe up in the air. He needs a certain type of service, but he got it today. And I saw him try to play him in a few times. That's the Giles and company. Alan Armstrong says, class today, the best performance I've seen in a while. Great coaching by Carrot and Woody up the borough. So Carrot and Woody getting the plaudits and rightly so, along with the lads. John Toogood, still say loan deals are not the way forward. I agree with that, John. I agree with that. You know, you get Archer in now. Archer, if he plays like that, for the remaining 17 league games, whatever it is, by God, he's in the shop window, there'll be some big clubs queuing up for him. Uh, I was astonished with what i seen today, just by him. I don't think it's a flash in the pan, I think he can sustain that. Um, loan deals, that's one of the downsides. The only thing is, if we get promoted, whether it be top two or playoffs, then we might have the big bucks to say, hey, we want to tempt him, we'll pay X amount of million. So, it gives you that chance to look at them, but it also gives the lads who's coming and loan an opportunity to shine in the transfer window and then they can move to Borough's our biggest club, but there's bigger clubs out there with bigger money than us and they could see him in their shop window and say, tell you what, we're nicking him. And that's one of the downsides. Enjoy watching the Borough for 90 minutes. It's not very often we can say, say that. Jack Wheatman. I don't think he'd been sarcastic. I think he'd been realist. Does Fry get back in next week? Craig Tuckman. Well, do you know what, Craig? I'll be honest. No. I'm a fan of Dale's. And Dale's a butter lad and he wears a shot of pride. What's your opinion, uh, the lad, uh, Bernie? I've not really heard much about him. Well, Stephen, I'll go with the stats. I can't say I've, I watch butter every week in the Premier. I don't really watch lower divisions. That's not been uh, degrading anybody. So I can only go with what I see. He's meant to be a good midfielder, strong, gets forward, scored four goals in 28 games, made a few. So he's a bit creative as well. So, But he's, a, he's another player who should do well in the Carrick um, style. Yeah, let me go back. Did I, did I miss one out there? Does right. No. So the answer for, for me, Craig, is no, because that's how you learn respect of players. Dale is out because he got done along with the back four. It wasn't Dale's fault. It was everybody's fault. One ball over top. Pulling and hauling. You get the matching orders last in line. I agreed with that. wasn't a penalty. Dale gets suspended. The big man comes in. Surely he keeps his place. Paddy McNair. Paddy McNair was very, very good today. It's like, okay then, so I go in for Akpom. Akpom's injured today. I come in, I score two. And, and shine like a, a diamond and play very well. And then next week I'm left out. You always have a respect as a, as a coach manager if you do that. I think Dale would be disappointed and think I've played well all along. But you missed it because you pulled and hauled the guy and you were all cut out. I would stick, I would stick with Paddy. Um. So where are we? I was at the match when he scored uh, a cracker against Mowell. He had bags of confidence that lad. So Raymond Pamo Lancaster, one of my personal all-time greats. Him, Lanny. 
I was at the match when he scored. Stephen, what are you on about? Uh, am I reading it wrong? Uh, have I been on some uh, illegal substances? Raymond Palmer Lancaster, one of my personal all-time greats, him, Lanny. I was at the match when he scored. I cracked against Millwall. Anybody, Steve, wait. Dear goodness, I need, I need a drink of water. I need alcohol. That's saying something come for a teetotal. David Hamby says, what a contrast to last week. Today, a passing was slick, a movement full of running, with speed up front, uh, whilst the whole team showed grit, passion and determination. They were the qualities and the ingredients we were missing last week in the derby game. I wanted to see those qualities, but it never happened for whatever reason. We moved on. Today, they had it and they had it in abundance. A crack result. Let's hope the lads show consistency and do the same next week for David Hanby. Uh, Rick says, Archer said he got a knock on the radio. Okay, he says he got a knock. Sometimes saying a knock's more uh, viable and, yeah, you don't want to really say you've got cramped, do you, as a professional player? I, I would rather say a knock than say I've got cramped. Means sometimes cramped, the, 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 the people think, oh, no fit enough. I don't think that was the reason. It looks like he cramped. He was holding both hamstrings. You get a knock, you get a knock on probably one leg, not two. He was holding, lying down, holding both his hammies. Uh, over the... Let's be honest, as long as he's back for the next game, uh, Blackpool at home. Adam Watson, over the moon, we've got Super Michael Carrick, get in Borough, get in Bernie. Well done, Adam, you're buzzing by the dog on ice cream tonight. All right, Bernie lad, for Daza. Daza, all right, mate. Uh, Raymond says, yeah, I remember his wee shimmy when he scored against Bradford in the playoff, top man. Actually reminds me of John Henry and you're talking, remember his shimmy? Are we talking about the guy who done the shimmy when he scored in the playoffs was Gary Hamilton. You talk about Hammy, Gary Hamilton. I've, either you've lost the plot or I've lost it. Best were played for a long time. That's for Michael McCluskey. Uh, Stephen Smith says, up the border. Massive result. Love the way we're playing. Exciting football. Look, we were excited today. Good draw. Sunderland today. Um, if you've just joined us, middle of Bruce, today's performance getting applauded. It's rightly so. We were excellent for the duration of the game. Uh, but energy levels never dipped. We kept at them. We, we went at them from the off. From the off, we went for the jugular, created things. They had one chance, it could have went in. Thankfully, it wasn't. It didn't. And then uh, Akpom get the goal. Uh, and then Foz added a second. And then it was good night um, to the opposition. We could have scored a few more, but hey, three points, two goals, clean sheet, third in the table. All good. It's a shame we couldn't have got Diallo uh, as well, if that's how I pronounce his name, the lad for Sunderland that scored last week, as well as Atcher. Imagine the performance then. Yes, yeah, Steve, um, Diallo was a handful last week. He really, um, he was creative, he was fast. He missed the sitter when Stefan hit the ball straight to him. I don't know how he missed the target. He had to hit the target, but he missed it. But he made he made up for it when he scored the second for, for Sunderland last week. Um, but he's a good player. Uh, thanks Bernard I'll go to Town Hall on Monday yeah Trev look we uh, my missus dealt with the financial side for the tables because some people want tables were 500 weigh a thousand pounds for sponsorship I just got all the lads involved I don't get involved with the money obviously I want to raise as much money for Parky and it's going very well so hopefully you get sorted Trevor any problem get on here again I'm back after every Borough game Trevor next week after the Blackpool game uh, best performance of the season so far, Ian Burns. John says, I wonder if Zach Efron was as arrogant at City, uh, <laughs> Zach, yeah, uh, as he is totally ignored two kids. What? No, no, no way. I'm no, I'm not laughing now. Hold on. So, let's see. I, I have to read this. I don't want anybody thinking I've dodged a, 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 a question. Can he find it? I wonder if... Zach Efron was as ignorant at City as he is here. He totally no two kids. Want autographs. Seconds. Don't understand it. Uh, so are you talking about Stefan? Is that what you meant to put Stefan? If you're talking about Stefan, he might have had a reason I, I wasn't there, but I'm totally against players. I've seen players over the years that I've played with ignoring kids or autographs or even even adults. I've never got it myself. Mark Brigham wouldn't allow me to walk past anybody asking for an autograph. Um, as I say, he might have been in a rush. I'm not saying that's an excuse, but he might have been something on his mind. 
You may have had an argument behind it, I don't know. So I wouldn't just hammer somebody walking by kids because no saying that. It might be a reason, but I'm not a fan of that. I have to say, I, I wouldn't do it, even if in a hurry, I'd still have to stop. Even in Burnley, great result today, the full team played superb. I'm getting excited about top two finish. This team is playing, let's see if Paul making. this team is playing like the Karanka team. You're joking, aren't you? That one automatic promotion. I'm loving Karanka as a manager, getting the best out of the team. Kind of what you get at the end of this. That Wilder never could, happy days up the border. Well, Paul, Macon, Spurs one up, Bernie, if you're interested... Thanks for the update. Up the Spurs. I'm a Borough fan. Um, so, Paul, you're obviously praising the lads and rightly so. Team played well, superb. So let me get to you. Karanka team never played football. I you're joking. Karanka, I was bored off my tree. I'd have rather jumped to River Tees and play under right or Karanka or Tony Pulis. Seriously. A Warnock. Dear God. Karanka, man. It was boring. We went seven and a half games, never scored a goal. This team scored goals, this team create, this team's good in the eye, this team's exciting. Do you remember? In the top flight, four victories. Four victories in a season. Do you remember the ball used to get hoofed up to Negredo? He used to win the ball and we were so deep that he had to go and chase his own ball. It was a joke. Somebody's just put up there, like a table. Well, the tables have gone, lads, sorry. Uh, we're talking about the tables for the Gary Pattinson night. There's seats only, £50 meet and greet uh, tickets in the balcony at the Town Hall, 24th of March. All the proceeds go to Gary Pattinson, former teammate of mine, 86 star, who was loyal, successful at the football club, could have headed off, pastures new, walked out of the club like we all have could have, but we didn't, we stayed put because the majority loved the club, were homegrown and we proved our point, so... The fans, or the people who are turning up on the night, well done to you who have bought tickets. We're much appreciated in Parky, I'm sure. Who will be on there, who will be there on the night, will appreciate the, the backing and know that everybody's behind them. Watch your highlights yesterday, Burning Facebook. Was Coventry away the best ever time three worldies? Uh, looking very dapper tonight, Bernie. Pennywell Pundit. Ah, I'm only dapper because the club gave me the suit. And you know what? They never charged me. It's a bit surprising, isn't it? He's like a charge for whatever uh, eat, drink. Or... No, I'm joking. No, this is a club blazer. We emblem there. I was smart to go to the games. I represent Middlesbrough Football Club. I like to think I'm an ambassador. Some people think I'm just a bastard. But anyway, that's it for another day. Right, Tony says, what's your highlights? Uh, was that your three best? For Middlesbrough, Richard, yeah. I was fortunate to score seven hat-tricks for Middlesbrough, ten hat-tricks in my career. But that without a doubt. Younger generation watch it. Lads brought up. I've not mentioned it. It was three goals. We played in the top flight, old first division, down at Highfield Road. Um, we won 4-3 and I scored a hat-trick and the opposing player who was five foot nothing, a guy called David Speedy, Scottish International. He got three, but I've got the ball, still got the ball. That was the best three I've scored. I think I was wearing somebody else's boots that day, Rich. I never scored goals outside the box like that. There was a one, there was one 20 yarder, there was two volleys, I think. Ridiculous. Hi, Frank. Great as always talking uh, to each other. Attitude was chocolate and cheese between this week and last week. Richard Kemp. Um, Paul Gamble says, hopefully we can tie up Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson's in there, not Harold. Not the ex-Prime Minister. Harry Wilson soon as well. Um, he might be a good player. Chris Smith says, hiya, Bernie. What's your thought on Zach Stefan? Had a few face-offs with fans about how much of a huge part he plays in our new style. A lot of fans want him gone. I think he's very much needed and would take him penalty if possible. Uh, so you're talking about Stefan. Stefan, look, Stefan, the goalkeeper, he's not in Man City, he's at Middlesbrough. He's got um, two weeks ago, he got a hackney booked because he's stupidity playing it there. Middle of the goal, 20 yards out, don't see any advantages of that. Um, he takes too many touches in the ball which gives the opposition time to close us down. If you watch Man City's goalkeeper, he takes quick touches and plays it quick. He's slow. He's laboured. He takes another touch and another touch. And last week at Sunderland, the first the first time it was in the net, it was in our net, was um, Big Stewart scored because he spilled it. It was his fault. He hit it in the roof of the net, Stewart, because he was alive, aware and anticipating. It was a great finish. Disallowed offside. He got off the hook. That was his clanger. Then he passed it straight to Diali, however you pronounce his name, the centre forward. 
he should have scored. We could have been 2 0 down and both would have been down to the goal kicker. And even the one that, that there was a penalty that wasn't a penalty. If you watch it, I know that he got a touch that hit the post, came back, and he was unlucky. I wouldn't sign him. We ain't Man City. We should never play playing like that. Man City can. They're blessed with all the top players in the world. We're not Man City. Play, today, after a couple of clangers, there was one in the first half that came across the box and his touch was heavy and there was a, a hairy, scary moment for the players and the fans. Second half, he'd done the same. Played it short. Lad played it inside. Had it, I think it went by the post or whatever. We don't need that kind of pressure. In the crunch games, this is the difference between finishing in the top two or top six or getting promotion. You make one, only takes one boob. I, I read a bit yesterday on the social network, I don't buy newspapers. Um, don't believe newspapers. I don't even believe the dating newspapers. Uh, that Carrick encourages that. He might say that publicly, but I'm sure he does encourage it when he passes it to a midfielder or where the, the, the two centre-backs are split and Hackney or Housing comes in and we play it to him. There's no advantage. We're not good enough to play that way. And we're going to get done. And when it happens, it nearly happened today again. It happened against Sunderland. I'm not a fan of it. Going to the full-backs is fine as long as it's a decent ball. Today, the second half, there was a bad ball went. It didn't get to Giles because it was a poor ball. Uh, and we nearly get punished for it. And if they scored today, 2 1 with 20 minutes ago, we were under the cosh. We, again, we'd have been inviting pressure. And they didn't deserve a goal. So for me, I wouldn't sign them. You're asking me, I would rather have Robertson. People are saying he's got his contract. I don't know anything about Stefan's contract. He said some good saves, but he makes some clangers and he gives me the jitters. And I know that I'll be here next year watching Borough and he won't be at Middlesbrough. I think I can safely say that. He won't be middle of the kit next year. You've got Roberts, who's got a contract, who does he get a game. You've got other lads who's down at Swindon. Young lad. What's up with them? Why? We've got this guy from Man City, who is not a Middlesbrough player because he's on loan. I think he came to Middlesbrough again in the shop window to get into the World Cup squad with America. He never achieved that. And if it's in his contract, which I don't know, as a speculation drive, it's in his contract, he has to play when he's fit. Maybe that is the case. So we need to bite the bullet and just go on with it. If, you, if you're daft enough to sign contracts like that or agree contracts like that, I'm not a fan of that. If I sign for Middlesbrough and say, um, right, OK, you, you're going to play every game, we'll put that in writing. I think I would be first to say, listen, don't put it in writing. Because if I'm crap, drop me. Book me up my ass. I don't want to be playing when I'm crap. I wouldn't want that in my contract. Uh, Rich says, superb what you have done for a mate, Bernie. Rich, I'm not here for praise. I'm, I'm an opinionated guy that, that's a charitable guy, passionate about the game of football, passionate about people. I, I love everybody. It doesn't matter. I don't love everybody. That's a lie. But everybody's the same to me. King, Popper, I don't care who you are, what you are, what your background is, what colour you are, what creed you are, where you're from, if you've got three heads, if you get, I don't care. If I like you, I like you. And that's all that matters. I'm fed up people trying to ram things down people's throats. I like Paki. I love Paki as a player, as a human being. Uh, are you a Middlesbrough legend? Absolutely, does a I Middlesbrough legend. Um, so Paki, just a great lad, great human being. Absolutely horrendous what's happened. These lone players who have to play when fit is a joke and disrespectful to others in the position in the squad. Um, yeah, so Paki, look, I'm a human being. We've all got feelings and hats and all the 86 slides. My, my, my only job that I've thought I want to do, it, I've thought about it for a... I've, this is the fourth one I've done over the last whatever years, but it's not me. I just phone the lads and all the lads go, yeah, we'll be there. We'll support our team, mate. It's them, Bruce Rear, yeah, I'll be there. Steve Gibson, I'll be there. It's they guys. I'm only phoning them, getting in touch with them, and they're saying yes. If they say no, I can't do it. No, I've tried, but they're all doing it, and the you, the fans, or the, the people out there, are coming in your droves. It'll be a great night. It'll be an emotional night. Um, nostalgic night. And as I say, it'll be a funny night because we've got a comedian as well. You've got entertainment. A few of the lads will talk. I'll certainly be one of them because I can't shut up, but I'll get Tony Mowbray to talk. Probably Gary Hamilton and maybe another one or two. Not everybody's comfortable talking, so they're not they're there to support Parky, not to get put under the spotlight. And if they're not comfortable talking, totally get it. That doesn't mean they don't love party, they're there. That's all that matters. 
Uh, every time I've seen Stefan, he's been an absolute gentleman with the kids. Couldn't go out of his way. Enough for Chris Shaw. So Chris is praising him. Did you ever consider going into management or coaching, Bernie? The Pennywell Pundit. Do you know what? The Pennywell Pundit. I went for my... I went for my prelim years ago, did that, went for a year for B, did that. I came away from that disillusioned. I thought there's people getting led in with the hand who's got nothing. No, they did eventually when they got look at look at Gary Southgate when they get the middles proposed. I had more badges than him, all my mates had full badges. They never get the middles for job. If I was led in with the hand, I'd have went and done the full one. But my late father used to say years ago, I think I could man manage. I'd get a coach now with man manage players. I think I could do that. I'm not intimidated by anybody or anything. I like to think I could stroke egos, kick guys up the asses, motivate people. I think I've got those qualities. Um, managing's the key. It's not coaching, it's managing. Man managing players. And obviously these days I'm told by a few of my mates who's in the professional game at good levels. I know two or three it's in right now, I'm not name them. Um, but they tell me I would last two minutes in the modern game. Probably would. Couldn't handle it. Uh, every time I say, yeah, uh, he's been absolutely... So well done, Chris. You're giving the other side. As I say, I'm no... I'm talking about Stefan on the part. No, off the part. Somebody mentioned that he thing the kids, but... Uh, thank you, Bernard George, for your hospitality today, my son, and I loved it. For Chris Thomason. Just a wee message about Chris. Chris is not on to see it. Chris Thomason, as I mentioned, three Olympics, gentleman, six foot six, sticks out like a sore thumb, good talker, funny guy, respectable guy, lovely family. Um. The kids loved it today. He came along with his kid. Then I'm doing my talk after the game. Chris goes onto the pitch, takes a picture of his son just at the 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 the, the flag, the, the corner flag. And some abrupt half wit Jobsworth from Middlesbrough, don't know who he is, says, get off the pitch in an aggressive manner. And Chris come up and says, My son's upset. This job's worth. Don't forget, Chris has been a professional who's been around the world, the Olympics and all that, and, and earned a living and won medals. He's a respectable guy. He wasn't drinking. His son's a smart kid. He just wanted a picture next to the park and somebody's shouting, get off the pitch, this tone. Instead of going on saying, mate, do you want your quick picture or you're not allowed? Just And the kid was hurt. I could see the, the kid had tears in his eyes. Now, that's what I call the Stefan thing. As I say, that's one of my guys' opinion. I'm not... I've not tried to demean Stefan in any way, shape or form. I'm only talking about on the park. He gives me kittens every time he's got the ball, fannying about. I'm not a fan of it. And, it. and we'll get punished on it. I'll stick to that. But regarding wanting by kit, I don't... Surely there's not many pl players that would do that. But the half that chased big, um, the big man off the, the turf, him and his son. Unbelievable. You couldn't make it up. Where's your manners? When there's kids around. Archer, too good for the championship. Uh, on that performance today well Michael it's one game but as I say what a game it was uh, top boy Parky knocked him out with him a young one in Thornby Steve Cup yeah so listen I'm going to read three more and that's it I've not read any of these uh, you can join us on uh, Facebook no not Facebook Live it's uh, Total BS Podcast it's on Amazon Spotify Apple Spreaker it's free you can listen to uh, Gary Hunton part 2 I think it's this this Monday so part 2 I put a wee bit on YouTube and people are saying well, it was only it was no long enough well, it wasn't it was only a wee teaser so um, yeah uh, so three more haha -ha, think it was on Facebook for your birthday that Coventry hat trick Bernard Jocelyn cheers Rich uh, Trevor says you're an 86 leg end uh, Bernard you deserve to represent the club in the Legends Lounge end of it's not debatable Thanks, Trevor. Uh, Richard says, I was there at Coventry when you got three. Poor old Speedy. Ask your fans who got the winner. Yeah, we won. Matt Buck got the winner. I got the ball. Everybody was happy. Listen, thanks to each and every one of you. YouTube and Facebook Live. I'll be back again next Saturday at half six because it's a home game. We're playing Blackpool who are struggling. My old international teammate and captain, Mick McCarthy, he's in charge. I don't know how they got on today, Black People have not looked, I've not time, just rushed here. Um, but thanks for joining us. If you want to listen to Total BS, it's a weekly podcast. Every Monday it's on. I talk to anybody and everybody, uh, and it's free. So if you want to listen to that, fine. I'll be back Facebook, YouTube next Monday. Up the borough. Well done, Michael Carrick. Well done, Jonathan Woodgate. Well done to you, the fans. Well done, the players. Outstanding performance. Everybody's delighted. I'm going to celebrate with a curry, and I might even have a fizzy drink tonight. Maybe eliminate. Cheers. Up the border.